Hello all you wonderful people out in YouTube land and welcome to the Dollar Store Pour. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint, so let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm starting off on a completely blank canvas, no paint on it, and I'm going to be doing a string pull, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than I normally would. Those of you uh, familiar with the acrylic pouring and the string pull technique, you would put your paint on the canvas, however, just paint it on, pour it on, dirty cup, what have you. Uh, and then you would take your string, which is uh, coated with a paint, and then you would put it on top and move it around and get the effect you're looking for. So today I'm going to do things a little different, as I mentioned. I'm going to put the string on first and then the paint over top sort of a reverse string pull, uh, backwards string pull. Yeah, well, at any rate, a little bit different. So for the string, oops, I've got uh, black and red. And in the black and red, I have just water and uh, PVA glue, no other additive. What's going on top is silver, which has alcohol in it and gold, which has dish detergent, uh, that also has a bit of water and PVA glue, and some green, and I'm not completely sure what's in that. That's just some leftover green. I wanted to use it up before it turns into a hard plastic disc. So here we go. And starting off with a black string for no particular reason, just am. Oops. Dripping quite a bit, but that's all right. It's going from corner to corner. And we'll get a red on there. And I'm not uh, draining off any of the paint. I'm leaving it quite thick on the string today, uh, just because it will be covered with other paint. So I want to make sure it does shine through. Although I don't necessarily want all those drips, but that's all right. There. All right. Oh, as well, I don't think I've ever mentioned the reason I use the PVA glue. Um, I think I've used that in pretty much every paint I've used. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, it's acting as my uh, my pouring agent. Normally, when you do these sort of pours, you would put a pouring agent. Usually, uh, Floetrol uh, is one of the more popular, and that just helps the paint to flow. Uh, it helps it to not mix in as much with the other paints. Uh, apparently it helps it to uh, not crack as it dries. Uh, but of course I don't have that uh, access to that at the dollar store. So I just do glue. All right. Let's get some paint on there. Start with some silver. I'm just going to... I'm not going to worry too much about the blank spots because I will be moving those strings along and that will uh, should fill in the blanks. Alright. And next comes the gold. And I will do that the opposite direction. This is flowing a little better than the silver. All right. And the green. Again, I'm not sure what additives might be in the green. Uh, it's pretty safe to say there's some PVA glue, uh, of course, but uh, aside from that, I really don't know. I have to take a look back and 
see just what I did. Alright, so that'll do it. Give it a little more silver. silver and I do have a little gold left so I might as well use that up all right and that'll do it for the gold so let's go ahead and pull it and see what we get So I'll have to make sure I do a lot of uh, not just pulling it straight because I do need to spread that paint around. Do I get too hung up with the black? that one at the same time just a little bit there we are that ought to free it up all right almost done with the red So now it's time for black. Let's get up there. Make sure we get a full coverage. a few spots hmm all right well I'm gonna have to throw the string back on there just to make sure I get those spots too bad. What I am going to do is go ahead and fire it, torch it real quick. I don't know if we'll get any cells, but we'll definitely pop those air bubbles. ahead and let that sit to give it about a half an hour or so and then we'll take a look and see just what we end up with all right so it's been uh, about a half an hour 40 minutes or so uh, I do I'm gonna get in a little closer I do see some tiny cells that have formed exactly sure what to expect to be honest with you by having the string on the bottom and putting the paint on top I was afraid I might uh, completely lose uh, the black and the red but it did uh, shine through so I do like that all right so that's gonna do it for me 
Uh, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, go ahead and throw a like my way. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and I will see all you wonderful people next time.